There are 3,000 kilometers between the western and eastern Kazakhstan boundary and 1,500 kilometers between the southern and northern boundary. Mountains covered by eternal snow, arid deserts, mighty rivers and boundless steppes lie between them. All of this is bound by a great sacred power that is people's love of their homeland. Constantly operating the legend hunter's expedition has been to the far west and east of the country, traveled from the south to the north in order to convince themselves once again that there is nothing better than one's motherland. The total length of the Ili River is 1,370 kilometers. 800 kilometers of the river flows through the territory of Kazakhstan. Built in 1969, the Kapchiga Dam divided the Ili River Valley into two parts, the upper and lower reach. Right after returning from the journey to the lower reaches of the river, the permanent The Legend Hunters expedition headed to its upper reaches to visit the famous Asiatic poplar forests before the freeze-up. There are still vast compartments of Tugai forests left in the upper part of the Ili River floodplain. These enchanted floodplain forests look like they have been taken out of the eastern fairy tales. According to the Kazakh cosmology, a mythical tree of life, the giant Baitirek poplar, connected the heavens to the underworld. Perhaps this poetic image appeared in the mind of an ancient poet and philosopher who was resting under the shade of the Asiatic poplars after a long journey. Since ancient times, the Asiatic poplar oases have been considered sacred by the Kazakhs. Мне кажется, в казахском мифе о священном древе жизни байтерек. I think that the first ecological ideas about the nature being a single living organism, where all the components are tightly bound, are encoded in the Kazakh myth about байтерек. Apparently, the ancestors of Kazakhs knew that not a single living thing, be it an animal, a plant, or a human, can exist on their own, without relations with the other components. Maybe the modern science is still unable to explain the meaning of some of these components, but the fundamental truth is that if we lose one of the components, it may cause a catastrophic problem that we cannot even imagine. Baitirek, the sacred tree of life, raises the vital force from the entrails of the earth and delivers it to the middle world, inhabited by all the living creatures, including us, humans. This is the way the picture of the world accepted by ancient Kazakhs was depicted. Maybe the representatives of more complicated religious cults connected with opulent rituals may treat such ideas as primitive, but as we see now, they are more commensurate to the modern description of the world. The living illustration of the mythical Baitirek poplar is the desert Asiatic poplar. Owing to its strong root system, the Asiatic poplar can raise the underground waters from a depth of up to 50 meters. These waters nourish not only the tree itself, but also the herbage and bushes growing around. They form groves and oases, which gradually become inhabited by certain animal species. Then the human comes, and that is how an ecosystem is made up. We can read about such worldview 
in ancient Kazakh myths and legends. Cutting the desert poplar was a great scene. People built caravan sarais and staging posts in the Asiatic poplar oasis for the weary travelers. The desert Asiatic poplar is the only tree that can grow on the sandy substrate without irrigation in arid environment. To get to the upper reaches of the Ili River, the legend hunters head to the Uyghur district of Almaty region. The district center Chunja is at a distance of 260 kilometers from the south capital. The local professional hunter Aziz is waiting for the crew at the village entrance. He will lead the expedition to the Asiatic poplar forests of the Ili floodplain and will familiarize the travelers with the region's wildlife. Everyone must observe the fire safety rules. If somebody wants to make a fire, they must select a site away from reed, dry leaves and dead trees, dig a hole about 50 cm by 50 and enclose it in order to avoid fire hazard. The Ili Valley separates the Jitu Sualatao from the northern Tanshan. Its width varies from 80 to 120 kilometers. Hilly foothills first smoothly turn into a stony gravelly desert, then into sand dunes covered by saxol, and finally, as the group comes closer to the floodplain, they see the Tugai, the floodplain forests. Gazelle Jiran inhabits the sandy deserts and the Asiatic poplar groves. In summer, they climb up to the green pastures at the bases of the mountains and move closer to the flat plain in fall before the mating season. The midday jerks colonize the sexual thickets. The credulous animals allow the camera crew to approach five meters from them. But there is a more serious enemy than our operator, the red fox. The small animals quickly hide in their burrows, and the fox makes unsuccessful attempts to dig them out. Finally, the crew reach the black strip of forest. That is the Ili River. Its banks are overgrown with Tugai jungles of the Asiatic poplar, silverberry and various willows. Since ancient times, the fertile valley of the Ili River has been cultivated by ancient agricultural population. The first European explorer who visited these lands in 1253, William of Hrubrug, described the ancient city of Ikeogus on the Ili River bank in his book Journey to the Eastern Parts of the World. Since Rubruk kept his diary in Latin, he called the city Equius. The academician Bartold wrote that, judging by the location, it is the same city that the Armenian King Hethum calls Ilan Balek and the Chinese Ila Bali or Ili Bali, which means Ili Balik, the Ili River city. In the 15th century, the Chinese named the entire Ili Valley Ili Bali. But they said that there were no cities and the population consisted of nomads. Apparently, the city was destroyed between the 13th and 15th century during one of the wars that ravaged the Semerechia. It was hard for the legend hunters to find a narrow passage between two lake systems, Sorkol and Ashimovske. Newly formed lakes stretched dozens of kilometers. The reed grew into a dense wall. Fish came here in spring. 
duck's nest here. High water level created serious problems for the locals and the travelers. But anyway, they are happy about the water level rise. Water in arid zones is life. Reed will grow around the newly formed lakes, as well as the population of wild animals. The crew is approaching the district forestry cordon. The Illy River floodplain, and especially the Asiatic poplar forests, need reliable protection. One match, small flame from a lighter or cigarette, can end up burning an entire forest. Foresters, gamekeepers and professional hunters conduct regular fire and safety inspections of the forestry. Здесь у нас водится кабан, косуля, держит это его места. There are boars and roebucks here. Goitred gazelle may be found in Barkan sands, but they come here to the drinking place. We have underground waters and springs here. There are a lot of pheasants here this year. The sand is full of traces of animals such as goitred gazelle, roebuck, boar, pheasant, hare. Fox is the only predator we see here. Wolves come down here too. We kill up to 15 wolves a year, but they keep coming anyway. There are a lot of cattle. That is why wolves come down here from the mountains in winter. And in spring, when the cattle pasture, the wolves also go away. Only one or two packs may be seen here in summer. But in winter, there are much more of them. Recreation of fishing is allowed on the river, but one may catch no more than 10 kilos of fish per day. There are carp, catfish, big head carp, bream, roach, asp and Prussian carp here. The legend hunters set up a camp on the river bank. After an exhausting journey, they can rest and fish. The Asiatic poplar forests add a special charm to the Ely floodplain. A walk along the river bank is more like a walk in an enchanted forest depicted in the 1001 nights. The Asiatic poplar's trunks seem to be barely dancing. The Asiatic poplar has survived two ice ages, but as a result of economic development of floodplain ecosystems in the Ili River Valley, the area of Asiatic poplar forests began to shrink rapidly. Ecological organizations launched various projects to conserve and restore the Asiatic poplar forests, and the government of Kazakhstan has adopted a number of regulations restricting grazing. It is time for the legend hunters to bid farewell to the fairy tale forests and head to South Kazakhstan region, where an adventurous journey to the Akmechet cave, which is the largest in Kazakhstan, is waiting for them.